Hello, thanks for tuning in to watch this video. With the arrival of coronavirus, AKA COVID-19, the spotlight is definitely on cleaning and disinfecting. Our clients are, are expecting us, depending on us, to keep their homes safe and germ-free from this virus. We need to make sure we are following the proper protocol when cleaning and disinfecting. The Center for Disease Control has put out guidelines, which many of us were following most of them. There's a few new things to talk about, but I just need to make sure we are all on the same page. Please grab a pen and paper uh, so you can take some notes here. I'll make this pretty quick. Every time you're in a home, all the high touch point surfaces need to be disinfected. Well, how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use our microfiber cloth some are orange, some are green, some are purple, some are yellow, whatever color you have. I'm gonna spray it until it's very, very damp, wet in the middle. And you're gonna use this to wipe everything, door handles, light switches, uh, any tables where the, the, everyone would be touching, like common area type places. This needs to be done every time, every time we're in, in a home. Uh, trying to think what else. Um, yeah, so this, this will be your disinfecting cloth. And then when you're dusting, you should probably use uh, the, the duster and a separate cloth to do that. So you may end up using more cleaning rags than normal, which is fine. We will supply you whatever you need. Also, with, when, you're, when you're doing this and disinfect, I would use, if, you, if you're cleaning a large home, let's say greater than a three bedroom home, and you're cleaning like 10, 12 rooms, you probably need to use two of these, not just one in a home, okay? All right, this is something that needs to be strictly followed. It's something that should have been stressed years ago. I apologize for not, but now we have to. When you're disinfecting, you're using it in the, on the kitchen counters, sinks, faucets, bathroom counters, sinks, faucets, toilets, tubs, things like that. You need to spray this Soak the surface and it needs to sit for five minutes. So while it's sitting, you can do your dusting, you can do your other wiping, you can do mirrors, whatever, empty trash, whatever you need to do while it sits. But it must be five minutes. If you need to use a timer, use a timer. You'll get the hang of it after a while what five minutes feels like. Okay. Uh, also, whenever you're cleaning the house, or an apartment or whatever. So this is for dusting, this is for also disinfecting high touch point services. White cloths are for bathrooms and kitchens. And this is for glass tables, glass doors, mirrors, uh, outside of microwaves and other things like that. So you all should know all that already. Um, also, each day, yeah, I think you all know this, you should be getting a fresh mop head. And throughout the day, while you're using your mop head, before, if you use it in one house, before you use it in the next house, please rinse it out with hot water, wring it out as best as you can and spray it with a little disinfectant. Let's keep these things as clean as possible. Um, also, same thing with the sponge. Uh, after you're done with the, Using it in one house, rinse it out, spray it with disinfectant, and let it sit for like five or 10 minutes before you use it. I appreciate each and every one of you. I commend you for your efforts. Um, now more than ever, we are an important part of our clients' lives. They're depending on us to keep their homes safe and clean. And that's what we're in the business of, helping our clients live a healthier life. So I'm proud of the work you do, I hope you are. Hope you're proud to work for our company and represent the Dirt Doctors. And I thank you 